hotbed of conflict over many issues, but it's water where things really boil. The Jordan River has become a bone of contention between Israel, Jordan and Syria. And while governments dispute control of sacred parts, it's the people who suffer. Paula Sphere explains. Siham Fakuri has always had to worry about water. Years ago, she bought a tank to keep as much of the precious stuff in. She needs it to wash her family's clothes twice a week. And the rest of the time, her children know to keep their showers short. In the Jordanian capital, H2O is pretty scarce. Big families usually buy water tanks so we can have enough water to last the whole week. But the tanks are expensive and not everyone can afford them. We get water two days a week. On those days, I switch on the taps and fill the tanks for a few hours so we can manage on the other days. It's a problem affecting the whole region. Competition for water between Israel, Jordan and Syria has become so fierce that it's turned the once mighty Jordan River into a trickle. Well, the, the river's um, uh, been almost destroyed because of the conflict, because of the competition. Every country has tried to block off whatever it, ca it can before it reaches the international shared part of the river so that they can keep it to themselves. That's typical of a conflict situation. Israel wants to declare the lower part of the Jordan River off-limits to pilgrims who believe this is where Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist. Pollution and sewerage have contaminated the waters to dangerous levels. Sixteen years ago, Israel and Jordan signed a treaty that committed both sides to return fresh water to the river. But that has never happened. These pipes pump water from Israel to Jordan. Each year, some 50 to 60 million cubic meters pass through them. This is enough water for one million Jordanians to eat, to drink and to wash each year. An ex-Jordanian minister says Israel is ignoring other parts of the agreement. When it comes to the reality, Israel is taking uh, two times or three times the share which was decided on by my, uh, one of the latest plan and in the 50-53s. So was giving Jordan a lot of water to irrigate areas in the Jordan Valley and also to... Uh, the supply to, to use for, for domestic supply and to save water in the upland, you know, for domestic supply. Now, this water has been almost diminished. But the allegations have provoked fury. Eric Belkind was one of the Israeli team which negotiated with the Jordanians about how water would be shared between the two countries. The problem is that when you say two to three times, you didn't say a quantity. I can say very clear that we are taking the exactly the amount respect to the Israeli allocation during the winter side period and the summer period. We didn't take even one cubic meter more. As the effects of global warming are felt more year on year, disputes in this part of the Middle East over water will continue to heat up. Paulus Lea RT in Israel and Jordan.